Okay, uh, why don't you watch how I make this mold here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to telk the bottom of the mold holder. Uh, I've already got the cone, cone here and the sprue rod. And so I'm going to telk the inside of this. And so the next step, I've got um, the red mold rubber here. This stuff is really great. Uh, very high durometer, meaning it's it's quite a hard mold rubber. Uh, but it, it works great for pieces that are they're more uh, flat. So, anyways, I'm gonna tilt the back of that, set that down, take another piece here, pull the paper off. Look around the edge, make sure there's no more paper. Now this piece is not going to get any telk because we want the two to adhere together. And so the next thing is we take the mold frame and we just push that down. And so it's going to look like that. So you got the, the cone coming up. Now I have this, it's a bunny ring. It's got kind of a negative area underneath and I need to make a mold of it so I take the sprue rod there and I line it up with the cone we want to make sure we get this so that it's even in the mold what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it down in uh, one thing I forgot to mention is you want to have wash your hands before you do this. Make sure your hands are clean. You'll just get you'll get a much better mold. And so now what I've done is where it becomes negative in there, I've pushed this down. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a I'll take the paper off this. I'm just going to take a little piece off the edge of that. I'm going to roll it up my fingers. I'm going to shove it up inside that negative area, just like that. And then I've got another one here, kind of a negative area between the, the ears. So I'm going to shove some rubber in there. Okay, so the next thing... We're going to take, these are uh, mold locks. We're going to push them in with the hole down. I think we're just going to go with two of them here. So on this particular mold, the reason I want you to see this is I'm going to, I'm going to have the mold locks down here. And then I'm going to take talc with a little brush. And I'm just going to paint it where these mold locks are. So what I what I want to have happen here is I want this particular part of the mold to peel open. And then the rest of it I'm going to cut. Okay, just like that. So now I have this piece that, well, let's see, we'll take the other one that I haven't pulled parts off of. Pull the paper off. I stretch out the edges because the die I have that cuts these, cuts them just a little bit short um, of the mold frame, and I like it to to reach the edges. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the telk and just on the bottom half of this I'm going to paint it on there just like that. I'm going to flip that over set it right on there like that. Now what I want to do is I'm going to push it in the center right down in there so that it goes against 
the other rubber that's in the center of the ring so it adheres really well because when I cut it I want to be able to open it up and pull out the center of the ring uh, but we'll get to that after, later on here so now we'll take the final piece here don't worry about that but we're going to put that part up towards the top uh, because the, the area down here with the funnel I want that to fill completely without any voids and, and this will fill too but so once we get to this point then we take talc the top of that really good talc your top of the mold holder really well because we don't want it sticking You want to tighten these down. So the whole time here I've had the toaster oven on 350 degrees and so in the time it takes to make the mold uh, the toaster oven will heat up just fine to the point I need it and then I can just put this right in there and this will cook for 50 minutes at which time I'll take it out and then I'll show you the rest of the how the rest of it goes um, you want to make sure these are even if you can and if you're having trouble putting one down just loosen the others Uh, it, you can have a gap. That's no big deal. There. That's that's it. So we'll stop now, and then uh, I'll show you the rest when that's all done. All right. Thank you.